Hey, Miguel Medina here, singing tree flutes. So it's the it's January. It's time to kick off the new year with some beautiful art pieces. Do that every year. We usually have a um, limited edition series that we do this time of year. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'm still thinking about what what we're gonna want the theme to be this year. But in the meantime, I've definitely started creating some really nice art pieces. This is a real special wood. My my wife actually picked this piece out. Uh, we were at Gilmer Wood Source. It's a great source for excellent hardwoods and um, musical instrument woods locally here. It's one of the best in the country, I'd say. And uh, this is Kingwood, and the look is just beautiful. My wife saw that sitting on the shelf, and she's like, what is this? And, and so, you know, I was inspired to buy that there. So you can see all the beautiful grain pattern in this wood and the sapwood that comes along with that, that them white. That's that white is caused from um, the outer layer of the tree. So, so there's what they call the heartwood, and that's where usually the deepest color of a tree is. And most all the trees will have a layer of sapwood, depending on the age of that tree. That sapwood could be anywhere from six inches all the way out to where the heartwood is only three, four inches in the center, and then you have. Uh, you know, and this is what walnut, American walnut does this. You could have 10, 12 inches on the outside that is white. So this, you get the streaking happening when, when you're getting from the heartwood to the outer layer of the tree. And I love it when you get those mixes of wood like that or of color like that. And so here we go. I decided to do a, humming a hummingbird theme on this one, and um, I used white maple for the hummingbird this time. I love using white on uh, some of the animal fetishes because it represents the spirit of the animal to me. It's almost as if, as, as if it's a spirit or a ghost. And then we have the um, ebony here, ebony accent stripes, and uh, again, maple end caps. I think that's a gorgeous look, gorgeous wood combination. Of course, the turquoise, that makes everything look good, but goes really, really well with that kingwood. I love it against the kingwood there. And as well, I did um, a turquoise hummingbird, a ruby-throated hummingbird. So most of it's turquoise. And then right on the, the, um, the neck, I put that ruby throat with some red gemstone that I had. Beautiful piece. The sound is gorgeous. These uh, oily exotics really, really produce a great sound. Cocobola, Kingwood, Ebony. Really, really nice sound sounding woods. And uh, the only other thing there is um, those onyx eyes. And this maple, honestly, is, is one of the more difficult woods to carve with because it is so white and it also burns when you use it. And um, not all woods will burn in that way. Walnut actually does as well, but uh, when you're using such a white wood, you have to make sure that every little piece that was uh, burnt from uh, whatever tool you're using, you have to be able to somehow sand all of that material out of there that has that burn so you get that white look. So a lot of extra time and energy goes into those white pieces, but I really, really think they look gorgeous. And again, the sound is where it's at on this one. And this is an E minor. So I'll play that for you. like it. Thanks.